In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to frame an image using a simple border or otherwise known as a mat. Okay, I've got a monochrome image here of some garlic which I took a few years back. And the first thing I'm going to do is to change this background layer into a layer rather than a locked layer. I'm going to have it as a floating layer. So to do that I just double click on this layer in layers palette and I'll get this little dialog window coming up asking me what I want to call my new layer. Layer 0 is fine for me, so I just click OK and accept that. And now you see this is not called background anymore, it's called layer 0, and that little lock symbol that was there has gone. That means that I can actually create layers underneath this, which is just what I want to do. So to create a layer, a new layer, underneath this layer, I'll hold down the control key and click on this new layer icon at the bottom of the layers palette and now the next layer has been created under my first layer so it's here and it's transparent it hasn't got anything on it okay now I want to um, make the image size the canvas size larger so that we've got an area around our image so to do that I go up to image canvas size and I can say add 4 centimeters around the edge of this image all the way around, so that makes that one 35, and this one 27, I'm looking in, let's have a look at that. Okay, right, now we've expanded the canvas, and here's our original image. So now, with this background layer active, I'm going to fill a colour in, so it's not transparent anymore, and I'm going to make it white. Okay, so now we've got a basic white matte frame around the edge of our image. But I want to make pick the image out a little bit more so I'm going to put a thin black border line around the edge of the actual photograph between that and the mat. So if I, I make the photograph layer active which is our layer zero by just clicking on it as I have done and now if I control click on the thumbnail here it will select the outline of this image. Now to use this I've got to use one of the marquee tools to so I've got to switch tools to a marquee tool, it doesn't matter which one. And when with the marquee tool active, right click on your image and you'll get this drop down box of different selections. And the one that I'm going to go for is stroke. If I click on stroke and it's asking me what I want to stroke it with. Now currently white is our foreground colour so it's chosen white which is obviously not going to be any good so I need to change that and I can make it black zero okay and width of five pixels yeah that should be about right and now if I deselect that now you see I've got this thin black line around the edge of my image which just makes it stand out a little bit more Okay, and that's really it. I, I could add some text down the bottom, give it a title. Um, once I'm happy with it, just flatten the image. Um, all the time it's on a separate layer like this, I could just change the background if I thought white was too much. Just by just doing that. But, yeah, don't think I like that. Might be better to pick a colour out of the original image. One of these shades of grey. Yeah, probably a bit better. Okay, then all I need to go is layer and flatten image and then I can save it. For more tips and tutorials on using Photoshop, why not visit my website at www.sally-jane.co.uk.